Hey, hello and welcome to today's GFG problem of the day. Hope you are doing well. So let's see today's problem, largest pair sum. So what the problem is saying is we have to find the largest pair sum in an array of distinct integers. Okay. So, so what will be the largest pair sum? It is going to be 74 in this array and it will be made up of 40 and 34. So this will be the pair of elements. This will be the pair of elements. Okay. Which will make the largest pair sum. Okay. Now, how to find the pair of elements basically or how to find the two numbers which will make the largest pair sum, right? So, it is going to be simple. You have to find the first largest number and the second largest number. That's all we have to do in this problem, right? You have to find out the first largest number and the second largest number, okay? So, so let, let's quickly uh, also code. I think you'll understand better. So, first I'll show the Java code followed by C++. Before going to the code, I'll also request you to subscribe to my channel, like the video. Thank you so much. So, let's. It's, it, it is a simple problem. So let's make it like, like let's implement it. So first int will take two variables, max and second max. Okay. And simply what we're going to do. So first of all, we're going to iterate through the array to find the, the first largest element. Okay. So let's take n as well in n equal to array dot length. Okay. So what simply what we're going to do. So we want to find out what the largest the 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 biggest element right so max comma max comma arrow of i simply okay so this for loop will give us the maximum the largest element now we have to find the second largest element so what we are going to do for that so simply what we are going to do that element arrow of i right arrow of i should be the second largest element should be lesser than the max right should be like lesser than the the, 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 the largest element, the first largest element. Okay. Yet the second largest element need to be maximum or just lesser than, just lesser than the first largest element. Okay. So this will make sure that it will give us the second largest element, right? The number, the number needs to be lesser than maximum, but, but after the first, after the maximum, it needs to be the biggest number. Okay. So this will make sure, right? And simply what we want to do. Return max plus second max, right? That's all we want to do. Return max plus second max. So let's compile it. Yeah, this is passing. Let's submit it. Also, I'll explain you the time complexity and space complexity. Okay. So yes, yes, it, the test case is successfully processed. So if you see the expected time complexity is O of N and expected space complexity is O of 1. So if you see expected space complexity, we are following. We are not taking any extra space, right? And the second thing is this follow up will take O of N and this follow up will, this second follow up will take another O of N. So O of N plus O of N, it is going to be of 2N, which is, which is nothing but O of N itself. Okay. So we are adhering to the time complexity and space complexity. Okay. So this is it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have got the solution. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Let's quickly see the C++ code as well. So here it's almost same, right? So here max and second max and we are just using the inbuilt library function maximum. Okay. So that's it. So I'll also attach the code into the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Have a happy, healthy and a great day. Thank you so much.